Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be talking about is how you can set a default parameter value for a JavaScript function. So what a default parameter value will do is when a function is called, if an argument is missing or its value is undefined, the default parameter value will be used instead. So in this create user function, there are two parameters, username and nickname, and I haven't assigned a default value to either of these two parameters. And what the function is doing is interpolating whatever the value of username and nickname is when the function is called into a string using a template literal. Now I'm already calling the function here, saving the result and then logging that to the console. I haven't added any arguments when I'm calling the function yet. So I'll do that now. I'll add a value for username infinity123, save that and let's take a look at the console. So you see the value of username was printed here, infinity123, but because no value was specified for nickname, it's been printed in the string as undefined. So if this string is being printed to the page for the user to see, you wouldn't want the value undefined appearing at the end. So one solution to this is to set a default parameter value for the nickname parameter. So the way you can do this in JavaScript is to set a value for the parameter when you are defining the function. So here I'm going to set a default parameter value of captain anonymous. So if I save this now and we take a look at the output, you see that now instead of undefined, we end up with captain anonymous. So the default parameter value has been used because there was no argument for nickname when the function was called. But if a value is specified when calling the function, then the default parameter value is ignored and the argument that is entered is used instead. So a default parameter value is only used when an argument is not specified when a function is called or when that value is set to undefined. So sometimes you might actually want to use undefined when the default parameter value is not the last parameter in the function because if you were to say now nickname is first, if you were to just leave the first argument empty, that wouldn't work. So you have to put some kind of value in there. So you can put undefined in there and captain anonymous will be used to print the string now. So a default parameter value is useful if you want a function to run successfully in the absence of one or more parameter values being specified when the function is being called. So in this function, there was a problem. In other contexts, it can be even more serious. For example, if you're making a calculation and there's no default parameter value to fall back on, then you can end up with no value rendered at all. So I have another example for you where that would be the case. And you can improve upon the function by adding a default parameter value. So what we have here is a tip calculator. It takes the total sum and the percentage tip that you want to calculate, and then it's going to return the amount that you should pay total, including the tip. So if I call this function as it is, let's say I pay 100 currency for something and I want to give a tip of 20%, then that's going to return to me a value of 120 currency that I should pay, including the tip. But the way it's set up at the moment, if I exclude the tip value, then it's returning not a number. So the calculation hasn't worked because I didn't add in a tip percentage. So in most countries, there's a standard tipping percentage. So what you could do here to prevent not a number being returned is to add a default tipping percentage. So let's say it's 10%. Now, when the function runs, even though I didn't add a tip, it's telling me that I should pay 110 because I set 10% as the default tipping amount but if the user does enter a tipping percentage that they want to calculate, let's say 
15%, then this overrides the default parameter value. So the nice thing about default parameter values is you know when defining a function that even if an argument is not specified, then the function will still run with some kind of fallback values for each of the parameters. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video because it helps us with the algorithm, others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel.